And still with us in studio is Professor Manuel Navon. Professor, a lot of Republicans were banking on a contested convention. Now we're in Indiana. If Trump wins, it's looking increasingly unlikely that we'll get there come July. Yes, I mean, if he wins Indiana, he's going to be unstoppable. And the old uh, establishment of the Republican Party that was hoping and was praying that he was not going to make it, and maybe at the last minute with the convention, it would be able uh, to get uh, Ted Cruz to get the nomination. If, Paul Ryan, a lot of right, people pushing for Paul Ryan to right, come in Right, but this is not, apparently, I mean, if Trump wins uh, Indiana, it's just not going to happen. And uh, the Republican Party, there are already voices within the Republican Party that are talking about the inevitable and what are they going to do. And some Republican voices have been saying they're going to vote for Hillary Clinton, which is pretty incredible. And that's, you're leading me into my next uh, question. How much support will Trump receive from the Republican Party if he does receive this nomination? Well, if he does receive the nomination, the Republican Party will have to uh, support him. And I think that any Republican politician that uh, does not declare his support for Donald Trump uh, might pay the price in the in the next elections uh, for uh, the presidency or, or other elections. I think that what, what this really, this primary is showing is that the, uh, the, the, the establishment of the party does not control the party anymore. With those primaries, it's really the voters that decide who is going to be the nominee. And this is something that uh, I think the establishment of the party has learned or is learning the hard way. Professor Emmanuel Levon, thank you very much thank for being you. with us this evening. And